Here's another exclusive today. The government is weighing its options on the free food grain scheme, which has been extended multiple times since it was first rolled out during the COVID lockdown in March of 2020. Now, sources say the government is well faced with regards to grain for the scheme to be extended, should that be the political decision. Sapna joins us now with more. Sapna, uh, you know, the finance ministry has vociferously reiterated its stance that this is a scheme that needs to be wound down, that there is no need for a further extension. But of course, uh, a final call will be taken at the highest political levels. What are the What is the back and forth on whether an extension will be granted or not at this point in time? What are you picking up? Well, what we are given to understand is the government is definitely weighing options uh, at the moment in terms of uh, whether the PMGKAY needs to be extended further. This call, of course, will be taken at the highest level. Uh, as far as the food grain stock is concerned, there the government is very well positioned. According to some of the data that has just been very recently released, uh, as of Jan 1, 2023, the wheat and rice stock is likely to be above the buffer norm. And, uh, you know, for the rest of the season also, they are pretty well positioned. I mean, there the commentary is extremely clear. It's, 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 it's very strong in terms of the food grain availability. Absolutely no question of shortage. Uh, you know, whether it's additional allocation for BMGKY or even for the current NFSA, the normal routine uh, outgoes that happen. So that's one side of the story. However, uh, you know, Finance Ministry also in the past has been raising certain red flags on the fiscal impact of uh, the PMGKY extensions. Uh, we all know the numbers. Uh, the last quarter itself, the extension has, is going to cost the government additionally 44,000 crores. Another extension, at least for three months, will cost them again over 44,000 crores. Uh, if the extension is for a large part of the year, then of course the number is going to be much bigger. Plus, even if you look at the current economic situation, uh, you know, the COVID scare has received uh, the, the, the growth numbers are coming back to normalcy. So under these circumstances, there does not appear to be too much of an economic rationale for extending the PMGKY. But as I just said, this is going to be a call to be taken at the highest level. And uh, we just have to keep a watch as to how it really pans out. Yes, we will have to wait till the end of the month to see if there is an extension granted or not. Sapna, many thanks for joining us. Yes.